Dearest M, very many thanks for kind letter and enclosures. We have been a beautiful route march this AM. Drill and snow sweeping this afternoon. I'm having a real good time. Colonel says my hut was the best in this battalion. Much love, E. Dear Mum, this is a view of the place I am at. Looks all right then, but it's not quite so cheerful now. Hope you had my letter today. Love to all, Charlie. Dear Noel, just a PC to let you know I am quite well. Will write you soon. Kindest regards to all, Blue. Leaving this show at half past two. Feel as cheerful as Satan at a christening. John. Dear Mother, just a card to let you know of safe arrival at destination in the early hours of this morning. I will write as soon as I can. Love to all, Percy. Cher Monsieur Vasseur, my paper is not very explicit about yesterday evening's raid. Did you hear the cannons? I'm very much afraid the filthy Bosch will come tonight. The weather remains fine and the sea is very calm. Cher Maman, Laurent et Antonas, my sincere apologize for not coming to say hello. I should have liked to bring you, as you well know my best wishes with my inflexible heart, that our victory will soon come over this. Felsi Bosch. Dearest mother, no news, good news. Hope you're going strong. It's a great victory for the Allies. 100,000 casualties for the Germans. The general with us during the morning. Thunderstorm, 7 p.m. Much love, E. We are expecting new wounded at the hospital, as now they are very much fighting on the front. Nearly all our French men are gone, so there are only two doctors at Van instead of 12. So my father is very tired. I do feel tired to wait so long without seeing my dear fiancé, Cecile. I believe in Joff, the Father Almighty, commander of the armies in heaven and earth, and in his only aim, the victorious republic. Our mother, who was conceived by the revolution, born of the death of a king, suffered for her honor in 1870, was stripped of Alsace, lay buried for 44 years, and descended into hell in defense of peace. But on the day of revenge, rose from the dead and seated on the right hand of Joff, the Father Almighty. Cher Mayor. I wouldn't like to let this day go by without wishing you a very happy birthday and I hope that you are well. As for me, things aren't too bad at the moment, but I'll be glad when this job of soldiering is finished as we are almost dying of hunger. Dear Ethel, you must excuse me dear, only writing this PC, but we are now up in the trenches and the weather being so cold and the rain has collapsed nearly all our dugouts. Well, the remaining few are so full up you can hardly move. My dearest mother, hope to be home 1999. Ask Dad if you'd like to join up again. Best love, Rupert. Dear Alice, those dates seemed all right when I got them but I hadn't had them long before they turned quite funny, so I didn't eat any more. But I took the lining out of the box and licked it. John. I believe in the Holy Spirit of my leaders, the victory of my country, the communion of the Allies, the non-remission of the Teutons, the resurrection of France, her glory, her eternal life. Amen.
Ever a darling girlie. Thanks so much, darling, for your kind and loving letter received this evening. It is too late to answer same now, so hope you won't mind PCs. I may not be able to write tomorrow evening, as we are a night trench digging then. But I will write as soon as I can, pet, and hope you'll understand. I'm so very sorry you should have had so much worry lately with the Zepps. I can guess from your P.S. you are not as well as you ought to be, and sincerely hope and pray, loved one, that you will not suffer any more. To my dear mother, with my fondest love and ever best wishes, I'm longing for to see you, dear mother. May God bless you and keep you safe from your ever-loving and most devoted son. With my ever-fond love, dear mother, Will. My dears, we are married since May 19th. Got back here yesterday and am leaving for the front tomorrow. I don't mind at all going to the front now. Was very happy, but time flies when you are happy. Much love from your loving friends. Dear defender friend, oh come, fill me with joy. Admiration for great courage. Also for your resignation, your great suffering. Should you be fortunate enough to be transferred to Paris to finish your convalescence, I shall be very glad and proud to shake your hand. Also, I am still very little. I understand a great sacrifice you have all made for our dear France. We shall never be able to love you enough. You are elders who have worked for our future happiness. It is with very deep respect that I greet you and cordially seek your hand. All great of all. Dear son, I'm sending this to you as I see you the other night and I had your photo taken. You see, you never know where dad is. He can fly, you see. If you got a moment, if you could drop a line to dad. Little girls of nine write to their dad and it cheers them up. Mind how you get about on your bike as it is dangerous and take Ma out and play the gramophone to her. I was down in town today with a mess cart, so I thought I would get a card and send it to you. If you forgot to write to me, I have not forgotten you. I think it's about time you were brightening your ideas up a bit. Tom Jack. It is a close, stuffy morning. Rot. We'll write again tonight. I think I told you all the news in my letter last night. Goodbye, darling. Be good. I received your two postcards yesterday and today, but I'm rather busy today and I will write tomorrow or perhaps later tonight. They're sending us a few shells over this afternoon. Just a few more lines. Sorry I've not been able to finish letter, but by a bit of luck you will have it tomorrow. Received letter this morning, but I'm afraid you will have to wait some time for one from me, but it cannot be helped. I will try to write soon if possible. My darling wife, just a line to see, I am quite well but very tired, so I'm sending this instead of a letter. Raining hard here all day. Heard the nightingale last night on my travels. Hope you're all right, darling. Fondest love and kisses, Val.